The test? We have just begun. Why don't we open eight leopard heads? Seven? Show her. Stay here until midnight. with us listen to me this low life disrespected me so the master punished her <laughs> hey listen to me you too move her there ah no 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 um jinju it's just that that window does not close at all the wind will make her feel very cold well then even better she just served for one day, and now she's back in the slave house to clear her mind. She needs it. <sighs> she's injured. The cold will make her worse. Just stop talking. She should rest. What did they do to her in there? It's bruised. Be gentle. Go on now. Just go to sleep. It's you and Ye. He must have done this. And for no reason at all. He and his family, they are all scumbags. It's so strange. Because faults are punished with whippings or sometimes by being locked up. The master never tortures slaves during the night. Huh? Wait, isn't this... <gasps> come here, come here, come here. Come here. 
here. Now listen, we need to take good care of her. Because if we do, our futures could become better. What do you mean by that? You wouldn't understand. And also, just remember, she shouldn't find out anything at all about that wooden bead. Do you understand? Yes. Not play any tricks. I've shown you my skills. I can handle arrows from all directions. My lord, it took me one year to master this skill. Good. You've become agile already. But you still don't understand the art of it. I know what I did wrong. Continue tomorrow. very well. I only fell because you threw a date at me. Excuse us. <laughs> Don't get down. Sword.
with your skills. No need to show off. I knew it was all hot air. I'll demonstrate. Watch carefully. Xiaoliu, Jin's is so mean to you. That's right. Xiaoliu, we missed you over the last few days. Did she bully you again? No, we're fine. But she has a filthy mouth. <laughs> when she's angry, I get really happy because it means that she's jealous of us. That's <laughs> right. And your jealousy makes me laugh. <laughs> you know, it seems like the two of you are starting to sound like Jinchu. <gasps> Seriously? Hey, that means we're like headmates now. Not really, but... <laughs> You're starting to become a little mean. We're becoming mean? But sometimes that's a good thing. That way people won't bully us anymore. Hmm? <laughs> I think you're right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you! Come here. What do you need? I need you to wash and hang these clothes before dinner. Have them in my room tomorrow. These aren't Lord Ye's clothes. <laughs> of course they're not. These pretty clothes I'm holding? They're all mine. Those are yours? You can't ask Xiaoliu to wash your clothes, That's right? You have no right to speak here. So what, you're the master now? Whining. What happened here? Um, we were... We were just, um... Let me down! 
Lord Ye wants some tea right now. Go and prepare the tea then. Yes. Huh? Hey! <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Scissors. Yes. Than Jinju's bell. Ow! Jinju, move out of your room. It's going to be sinks from now on. What? Mrs. Shia sent me here. No one can take my room. This is Green Hill Court. Sheng is now Lord Ye's personal maid. Jinju, know your place. From now on, you need a silver bell to clean Lord Ye's study. Only Sheng has permission to enter Lord Ye's bedroom. Is that understood? You're all dismissed. Tell me where the honey is.
responsible for this. The cut is clean. Clearly sawed off. You spend all day here. Did anyone notice anything? We didn't see anything. We're so busy. We don't have time for that. All right. It doesn't matter. I won't ask anymore. But I want to make one thing clear to all of you. You know what? You may have crawled your way to Lord Ye's bed. But the fact is, you're still the one who broke the stool. If the Master asks us about that, we're going to tell him the truth. We are all maids. None of us is nobler or lesser than the others. The only reason I'm here is because I want my little sisters and I to survive. I won't go after you if you don't make me. Where there are lots of women, there will be drama. Power struggles and dirty tricks. This is common in the maid's house, but we should all try to get along. You should know that inside the walls of this court, no one has an easy life. Instead of locking horns, we should look after and support each other. You are sorry, Shalu. As for where we should put things and what tasks each of us have, I know all of that better than you. From now on, I'll be serving Lord Yes every need. We'll see each other a lot. Don't cause me trouble and I won't bother you. I'm sure you all understand this. So many people. So is Shing throwing a little tantrum? Hello, Jinju. So, you just got the silver bell, and you're already giving orders? I wouldn't dare, Jinju. It's just to cater to Lord Ye's every need. I have to get to know everyone. Oh? They don't know the rules, so they didn't prepare a gift for you. But it's not a big deal. I got you one. Normally common maids like us don't get to eat food like this. Oh, right. You grew up in the pasture. Heard you ate rat meat as a child. Of course you've never tasted real food. Hey, why don't you bring these with you? So your sisters can have a taste, hmm? Consider it a gift from me to you. What is it? Are you getting mad at me? <laughs> Listen, don't get too full of yourself. I could teach you how things are done here. Listen, Jinchu. One must know the rules to teach them. I think you're not qualified. <laughs> Snuggling with Lord Ye won't keep you safe. Just wait and see. All right. Stunning. I wouldn't want to miss it.
slow. You were sloppy. Hurry up. Wipe off this taint. Yes. So you can do a better job when serving me tea. The jumping was to give you agility and posture. The stones were to make you quick on your hands and feet, so that you'd look stronger and less likely become an easy target. I understand. Understand what? My lord sees the full picture and treats me kindly. Do you mean this? Of course I do. I'm truly grateful for your kindness. I am tired of your clever comments. Dismissed. As you wish. It's been three days. When are you moving out? I'm still here, because I want to clean the room for you. What's this? That isn't even mine. How should I know what that is? I can't ignore it. Such a filthy image. I never imagined that a simple maid like you would think of adultery. can you even prove that it's mine? It was inside your bag. Besides, this filthy thing could only belong to a filthy person. A person raised on the pastures. You know what I'm talking about. Vulgar and immoral. Instead of pulling cheap tricks on me, you should try to think for once. Do you think you're in a position where you can touch me? Mrs. Shea of the Third House sent me here. Because our highness is still young, his slaves need to be innocent and upright as well. If they're not, I should send them to Mrs. Shea's court to be beaten to death. I guess I'll tell Mr. Zhu right now and let him deal with this. <laughs> oh no, look Jinchu. You dropped something. Xing Xiaoyu, be careful now. Don't you cross the line. The green hills cannot slow the river's eastward flow. Jin Chu, I will only say this once. You won't get another warning from me. If you want to put dirt on me again, I suggest you come up with a much better plan. If you really want to get me into trouble, don't try something this stupid. For now, Get out of my room. Looking for something? I lost something a few days ago. I was looking for it. What is it? It's nothing important. Go on. 
I'd like to see what you'd find. Never mind. Now that I think about it, I don't really need it. You've stayed here for days already. If it ever was here, it's too late. Just think of it as a donation to a poor beggar. She's lying. I know she's involved in Lin Shi's death. 